and here it is 1202 citizens we needed to have 1200 and we needed a money balance positive my money balance is more than 1000 so that is one done and this is actually done with only three of the mountain out of four there's a mountain there that we didn't use at all to be fair there is an avalanche there so it's definitely not going to be an easy one to put a lot of things on but we still have space you know to do even more so let me explain how i did it oh and just as we say that the avalanche is coming actually that's very cool so I actually felt that this mission or this challenge wasn't the hardest because there is no time limit. So as long as you're in positive, you know you're fine. You're going to have a lot of time to do whatever you want. Now, as always, you know, you start basically with nothing, right? Then my strategy was basically to fit as many houses as possible into one mountain over here, one space. Put it in the middle one because one, it's the biggest one. And second, that gives you access to both of these mountains in the middle, right? So the transport of resources is going to be lower. Then, you know, as always, sort of started with the food market, the donation spot and the community supplier. Fun fact, there is also a bath, but there is no water in this map as far as I can see anywhere. So you cannot put the bath. You do have, you know, the inn and the yak race. The yak race that we actually put over here. But we can't put a yak race right away because it does require, I think it's research level 2, right? So we had to wait a bit. Speaking about research, you know, as always, the key thing you need to do is to put as quickly as possible one academy, which requires, you know, 60 monks and a bit of money. So that's why, you know, we have a monk sort of quarter over here uh, and that's going to start giving you one research with this one research you unlock a lot of things you unlock some of the food for example you unlock also a lot of those decorative trees right and things like this so with this in hand you know we started putting the praying place and some of those decorations in all of these corners where we could you know to provide this because if you look over here, right, decoration is two and praying place is one for my artisans. And similarly over here, this is two and one. And even for the monks, we're talking about one and one. Um, this one actually doesn't seem to have a decoration. So I took a bad example, but this one has, right? And so that enables you often, you know, to be almost ready to upgrade to level two. Usually what you're missing at this point is a bit of food. My food, I always start with the eggs because these are the easiest so that's what you can see over here there is quite a few actually at the end and right, we have all of these eggs that are going into this one cart post that's going to send to the whole city over here to the market right one market means only one transport so that's fine then the second that i always also start is in the barley field now remember if you haven't seen some of my previous episode there's a big important tip with the barley field is try to do those layers like this those lines because when you do a long line, what happens is that they are all connected. They are all connected, meaning they don't need a street. For example, this one doesn't need a street. This one doesn't need a street, etc. And more importantly, you know, their range is also connected, right? So you can see that this one over here can actually go super far because of this uh, connectiveness. So that's a really important one. And then this barley, you know, is sent obviously into all of those meals over here, right? To make some tea or some tampa to send to the city at that point you can start upgrading everything to at least level two and that unlocks also a couple of new things then there was a big decision i had to make is i needed to have more research level so to get more research level you can put another academy or you can put a monastery the problem with the monastery is it does require you know quite a big production chain and also i didn't even have dye right you cannot make dye in this mission because you cannot get crystal so you had to import the dye unfortunately to import the dye you actually need uh, to uh, a research level two so to be honest you don't really have a choice you have to build a second academy which i built over here because it doesn't really need to be anywhere close to your people and that got us to level two so at that point i could have actually made a monastery 
but you don't really need to you know as you can see we are still at research level 2 and that's enough because research level 2 will unlock quite a few things right it unlocks for example the yak race as i said and the inn it unlocks also a few more food like um, i think the oni is at level 2 it unlocks also a very important one over here which is the yak breeder all right and so when i unlock this one that's the first thing i did because we already had a lot of those fields producing A. So I took this A and started sending it into those A dryer, right? There's a couple uh, here and there. And then this goes into those compact yard breeder. breeder sorry. I didn't have to use any cart post. You could have used one if you wanted to make it a bit uh, simpler, but just by being smart on where to place them, you know, I was able to do that. So then with this, we had, you know, a lot of yak and we were fine there. That then moved me to the next stage, which was to start giving a stencils. So we have only one copper mine that's over here. Um, so I, I used to have a house there, obviously deleted it. Then it goes into this card post. Then the card post goes up into those four, right? Because we have four coppers and each is making is using one that goes into this tray card post to then be delivered into that commodity commodity supplier now i am missing a bit you know it says we need 21.2 and we're only making 20 but i can't make more I and mean, there's no more copper on the map so i don't have a choice then i also started over here the honey right honey is a production that is better on the middle ground on the yellow ground right so that's why we made it over here it's producing five each they all go into that card post and then it's delivered to the market we need quite a lot as you can see 31 uh, of each so that was the next one then after this i moved over here into cheese and textile and we have over here the yak shack uh, in this middle level they are making six and four if you make it at the bottom you know over here i had a bit more space i could have probably made um, a bit more cheese but then i would have have less of the wool so i made it over here you know we have how many four six so we have six of these then they go into all of these cheese makers right and then from those cheese makers uh, this is just delivered to the city and similarly we have over here right the wool so the wool goes into all of this one then we have two of these making some textile the reality is you actually don't need that much textile i think there's only one uh, it's these guys over here it's just the lowlanders that want textile the other ones don't want any textile so that was a small production and was this it? Yeah, I think that is it. That is basically it. So there's a lot of other things we could have been doing, right? Like, for example, I didn't do the hell. I didn't move to a higher, you know, level. I did build, as you can see, quite a few of these enlightenments, right? We have, for example, over here, a gong with mandala, another gong. And similarly, in the north, you know, there's a couple over here. Because that enabled me to, you know, get to level 3 for most of these houses. So that's what you can see. Basically, almost all of my houses are level 3 across the whole map. And that's how we got to 1,200. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you managed to do it a different way. You know, if you have any feedback. But I think this was a great outcome. It worked pretty well. So I'm happy with it. And that's one more challenge done. You know, congratulations. Smash like button. And I hope to see you next time.